Hey, it's Daddy Lawn Neck up in there. You already know what he is. I'm lady like a titty. But anyway, I'm like a fuck. You know, a fucking baby mama and shit, you know, like... Oh, I know that, man. You know, yeah. she can't have no kids, you feel me? Fuck kids. Uh, you know, she gotta My have girl. a bouncy ball ass, you feel me? She can't have no, you know, pancake hanging loose ass, you feel me? Uh, she, you know, I wanna bounce what? that bitch, you know, up and down, you feel me? Oh, and she can, uh, you know, lick all of them on that, you know, lean. Hey. Oh, that's, okay, well, uh... Yeah, I, 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 I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful with this one. Hello, males and females, and all of the other pronouns on the gender spectrum. My name is Leon Lush. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am simply bereft of sadness today because of your decision to spend just a few minutes here with me today. Now, tons of you over the past several weeks have messaged me, Instagram DMs, YouTube comments, trying to get me to do a video on this brand new up and coming internet sensation, Damn Long Neck. And uh, as always, I am obliged to meet your needs. Now, I wanna get the obvious out of the way right off the bat. And you probably hear it right now. There's a little background noise, little hum in the background, right? Maybe it's distracting, but guess what? It's like the hottest day on record in Boston right now. And even with central air, this second floor office gets to be about 265,000 degrees Kelvin. Uh, and I start to melt. So I have this little tiny fan blowing the cold vent air into my face so I don't die. So I just want to get right off the bat. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give you a full dose of it. So just, here you go. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, you hear that? We are just right up against the fan now. It is fucking everything up, isn't it? All right, good. I think now, just by comparison, you know, it's not gonna seem as bad once we're back in the fucking ready position. Now, at the time of this recording, Daddy Longneck has over a quarter of a million followers on Instagram, which is, it's nothing to scoff at. It's a pretty formidable following. But you look through some pics and some vids and you start to realize uh, what he's all about, what he's aligned himself with. And you also realize he's got maybe some sort of metabolic disease or something where he's extra skinny and his neck's like six feet long. And you gotta be careful in situations like this, very careful, because the internet is a pack of wild hyenas, right? You are one slip up away from being crucified by Twitter mobs. So when it comes to taking the piss out of someone with a little bit of a physical ailment, well, you have to tread lightly. So here I am, internet, treading light as a motherfucker like a feather falling down from the clouds. Listen, here on this channel, I am an equal opportunity piss taker, right? You're not safe just because your mother was artificially inseminated with giraffe sperm. I mean, ultimately, it's all about the fact that when you build your brand around doing stupid ass shit for some internet clout, you're bound to get got. What's up, fuckers? I'm having a stove with damn long neck. Let me like this. Use that flag. Absolutely. Come on, we're gonna end up uh, coming out here and shit. So, I gotta like these bitches out. Right here. Use this one. Alright, take that one too. They're all there. Damn. Oh shit, that's my mom. Oh fuck, put them in my mouth. Put them in my mouth. Fuck. We good? Yeah. She just went back inside. Uh, uh. <sighs> Gross. When your mom almost catches you with cigarettes so your homie helps you from getting in trouble. Oh, man. I hate when that happens. Oh, relatable. Instead of smoking, you should be eating right now. This is so unhealthy. Okay, wet towel alert. Just fucking reel it in, my friend. Did you think if Dan was taking videos of himself eating food, it would get 730,000 views like this one? No, no, no. That's not how the internet works, my friend. And in Dan's defense, he didn't even have to eat the cigarettes in this video to get the views. It was, it was his friends the one that got the raw deal here. Idiot. Now here's Dan from several months ago when he was just getting started doing what any good budding Instagram personality would do, which is to fan $500 to show everyone that you have a minimum wage job and you know exactly how an ATM works. Incredible stuff. <laughs> I'm not even gonna front. This is like peak 
internet content right here. I am wildly enjoying this. I mean, you got the girl lotioning his neck, right? With the drip around his neck, his boys in the background dancing, and the unopened bottle of booze as a prop. How could you watch this and not tag two friends? No, no, I know what you need. Hey, check this uh, out. And with bitch ass right now fell asleep on the toilet, right? So we're gonna fucking go in there, get a little ranch on them, get a little chips, and have us a nice snack. Oh. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, ho. Long neck gang shit. Long neck gang shit. Y'all got that sucker with the Doritos and the ranch. Whole lot of long neck daddy gang shit. <laughs> Holy shit, it's the Gucci Berry. I'm taking it to my favorite <laughs> oh my place, God. man. Old Country Buffet. We're going to get our chow down on going on here, man. I can't think of a better yeah, duo. You mean to tell me that Daddy Longneck and the Gucci Berry are boys? Oh, man, shit just got turned up in here. I mean, they are like the physical antithesis of each other. It's I can't think of a better duo. Those of you that have been around for a while probably know that the Gucci Berry is a former heavyweight, insufferable Instagram title holder. And to see him make a return here in this episode just uh, the, it warms the cockles of my dick. <laughs> Look at this shit. I'm not even memeing anymore. This is fucking, it's like Christmas right now. Like individually, Gucci Berry and Daddy Longneck, I'm not really a huge fan, but you put these two together. Oh my god. Just look at that creature. What's going on? Oh, yes! oh down goes oh, Holyfield. <laughs> I, oh! Yay! man motherfucker. What the fuck? Lady like a titty. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, those teeth. Oh, that's tough. Hey, you that. fucker. Oh. oh. God. Stay litty like a titty, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, that is the good shit right there. <laughs> Stay litty like a titty, my friends. I mean, if I've learned anything from this video, it's that I need to find a new group of friends. I mean, these guys are having a ball. Jumping around with their shirts off, listening to trap music, kicking each other in the dicks. Are you kidding me? I mean, Nigel's cute and all, but he's never kicked me in the dick and then fed me a blunt afterward. This is bullshit. What the fuck? This is what happens when family members fuck laughing till I'm crying. Shit. If this cunt sneezes, he's folding like a paper laughing till I'm crying. That's, that's just insensitive. Come on. You are ugly. Get it, Slender Man. How can you be alive, bro? You know, this is what's inspiring to me about people like Daddy Longneck, is that he knows by putting himself out there on the internet, he's gonna get a slew of hate comments. But he does it anyways, in spite of the hate, and probably is stronger because of it. So even though we may poke fun at him and his crew for doing really stupid shit, I do appreciate people that create in spite of thousands of people telling them they shouldn't, or that they can't, or insulting them in some way. Another reason I gotta give him points is because you look through his videos and you realize they're not really terrorizing everyday people. They keep all of the bullshit pretty, pretty well contained within their group. And that's fine by me. I mean, you could burn each other and kick each other in the dick all you want. Just leave every day bystanders out of so there you go guys just a little taste of that long neck gang shit i appreciate you if you could subscribe if you're new it would mean the absolute world to me and as always if you could just leave a comment down below in the comment section and then grab your laptop and head to the local plant nursery cover yourself in peat moss and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me it would mean a great deal all right i'll see you in the next one guys peace and there's no tenderness